big part of that has to do with the, uh, the leadership within the university at, at UCF, uh, President John Hitt uh, does an excellent job of uh, defining the role of the university as a partnership university uh, within the local community and, and globally as well. And uh, that's a theme that is uh, taken to heart by the deans of the various colleges and certainly the, the dean of the College of Health and Public Affairs where I am. Uh, where, uh, in that case, uh, Dean Frumkin, Michael Frumkin, really leads by example uh, in, in lending his expertise to assist community organizations, local agencies, nonprofit mm -hmm. and private, as well as government, uh, in, in addressing whatever challenges they they have, uh, uh, particularly in, in this in this economy, uh, that the need for that outside expertise very much offered on a pro bono basis at this particular time mm -hmm. establishes that that partnership sense where where the university becomes a trusted source for uh, uh, helping communities uh, uh, meet their needs. I gave the example of the children's uh, community, children's services community. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a relationship that developed over the course of a year that culminated in this uh, summer course master's students, graduate students, going out and, and intensively working over a 10-week period, uh, several hundred combined hours of, of work uh, in order to push the community forward in a, in a, uh, a direction that can uh, generate better policy, better programming, better services for the kids. Um, but the, uh, what allows me as a, a faculty, as an individual faculty member to invest time and resources into that kind of work is the uh, is the leadership within the college and, and within the larger university. Uh, uh, when we look at tenure requ requirements, for instance, as a, a tenure track assistant professor, mm -hmm. uh, it's risky for me to invest quite a bit of time in service to the community and working with my students to urge them to serve the community in their professional capacities. Uh, but uh, within the university culture, within the university climate, that kind of activity is, is seen as uh, beneficial and as fulfilling uh, as uh, uh, generating an extra five publications. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so with respect, big or small, I think that the leadership and the, and the culture that is uh, established uh, uh, really makes a difference. So I, 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 I can't speak for, for all of UCF, but I, I know we would enjoy being part of that uh, that Kennedy conversation. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a great, uh, it's a great question. Mm -hmm. uh, and and how, how do you, how do you measure contributions of universities to community to citizenship? Yeah. The, the, this is my hypothesis, which is sort of jumping the sequence that we're going to go in. I, I would look at three uh, buckets. One would be what's happening to the current students on the campus. Mm -hmm. The second bucket would be what's happened to the graduates of the university, yeah. what, what is their civic uh, mm -hmm. participation. And then third, what's happening in the community yeah. close to the university. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a saying which I believe is true, that if you want to know how good a college of education is, find the schools that are closest geographically to that college and see how good they are. Mm. That if a college of education can't influence the schools that are closest to it, mm -hmm. what credentials does it have to be influencing schools that are a hundred miles away? Yeah. Similarly, if a university has a good civic uh, culture mm -hmm. or professors to, mm -hmm. but can't have any influence on the community in which it's located, mm -hmm. what's what credentials does it have that it's yeah. that it's going to have a broader influence? Yeah. So uh, those would be my three yeah. places to to evaluate. Yeah, and and how 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 does uh, faculty or how do faculty uh, lend their particular areas of expertise to uh, strengthen those community organizations? Uh, the, uh, the current secretary of education, Arnie Duncan, is is is. Uh, uh, pursuing an agenda of, of, of uh, community schools, uh, developing public-private partnerships uh, to create uh, schools that are open uh, 12, 15 hours a day, yeah. 
that serve as hubs for, for the community. We have one model in, in Central Florida, uh, North Lake Park Elementary School with a YMCA combined with a, sharing a building with uh, an elementary school. Yeah. I'm a big supporter of community. Community schools were really moving in Florida. Yeah. But they've sort of stalled out. And um, I think part of it is the financial problems that yeah. the schools have had. They've kind of hunkered down. But I, I think the, the word, you know, the first community schools were in uh, Flint, Michigan, mm -hmm. uh, the same family that started the Buick mm -hmm. automobile. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, basically, it was a simple idea. Mm -hmm. The school's got a playground. Yeah. Today, at 3.30, they put a lock on the playground. Why don't we take the lock off and let the community yeah. use this uh, uh, playground in a way that is not conflictive with the uh, activities of the school? Mm -hmm. uh, the the the, iter the iteration of that came to be what you just described, mm -hmm. that the school should be thought of as a place that provides many services for the community of which education is the primary, mm -hmm. but not uh, exclusive. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, I've advocated things like, why don't we have a combined public library and school library? Mm -hmm. uh, why don't we have the, uh, uh, a health clinic mm -hmm. that serves the community located in the, mm -hmm. in the school? Uh, why don't we have the elderly lunch programs mm -hmm. in the school cafeteria, which generally is the least utilized mm -hmm. uh, 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 nutrition facility mm -hmm. in most uh, communities. Uh, not only it, is it sort of a rational use of public resources, but it also does something that's very important for a state like Florida. It gets young people and older people to, mm -hmm. uh, to see a, a common place in which they can uh, enter uh, relate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, the model certainly has uh, uh, some great potential, and, and with respect to public participation, citizenship, uh, the model can help facilitate the uh, uh, the promotion of those values, the teaching of those of those values. Uh, if, if a child sees that a a community hub is being used not just for classroom activity, but for uh, that. Um, hosting of, of community meetings, civic society org, uh, meetings, uh, and so on, that, that can be a, a positive learning experience uh, that uh, uh, provides uh, for, for the young person a, a glimpse of, of what can occur. Uh, yeah. uh, in, in the current environment, school lets out, child goes home, goes to a neighbor house, maybe goes to an after school program, maybe not, uh, that, there's a, that there's that lost sense of uh, What's, what else is happening in the community. Yeah. Uh, are there any other thoughts you'd like to share about the book or any primary points you'd like to ensure our audience knows? Well, I don't want to leave this with a sense of pessimism. Yeah. And I go back to my analogy of the airplane that's in the yeah. death spiral. Uh, I think that uh, we're now on a wave that could break uh, to make this generation, the millennials, mm -hmm. uh, the generation that begins to reverse this decline in citizenship. There are some very encouraging statistics about uh, how the, the current uh, generation of students uh, are beginning uh, to have a different set of expectations, uh, of personal activities, sense of commitment than did their uh, predecessor generations. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope that the Obama phenomenon of 2008, which clearly got a great many young people uh, involved, most for the first time, mm -hmm. uh, was not will not prove to be a blip on the screen, but will be a representation of a uh, of a new attitude and a new era of energized citizenry in America. Well, very good. Well, with your book, I hope we can get there. Good. Thank very you. Very good. Thank you very great. much. Great. Thank you.